Well, the story found me actually at the Berlinale Film Festival where a friend uh, brought it and, uh, and I, I was just struck uh, by a forbidden love story set in the Soviet Air Force in the 70s at the height of the Cold War which seemed so unbelievable and so uh, almost like uh, yeah like at, at first I, I was just wondering how could this have happened and uh, it made me cry, it made me just really relate to the characters. And what was the draw for you as an actor to I mean, it's a beautiful story? What were some of the things that drew you to want to be involved in it? I was really interested by several elements of the film, and particularly uh, the backdrop, like the military backdrop for me is like I'm really into thrillers and into sort of military based dramas. Um, and then also this very unusual type of a relationship, like forming in a very unusual circumstance. And so, like, really for me, it was the kind of combination of those two things coming together and also asking a question of how on earth this is going to be possible. And the film is visually just stunning, so beautiful to look at. Like, every frame of it, I think. And, like, as soon as I first saw the stills, I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, People this. know what to do with their hands. Can you tell me a little bit about your guiding principles? Uh, I think uh, one of the most important principles was really to make it as truthful uh, to the time period, as authentic as possible. Um, but besides that, we really went for the kind of look of films of the period of the, of the late 70s and early 80s uh, and, uh, and I'm really glad if that came through and if, if it felt considered um, and the same with grading we went for the look of the 80s Soviet film grade so um, uh, there's, there's a lot of little uh, considered decisions. Can you tell me a little bit more about your experience of making a film and particularly portraying the um, beautiful romance that we see? For, for post-COVID, this is awesome. Um, well, I mean, for me, as, as the co-writer and as one of the producers as well, it's been a kind of all-encompassing experience of not really, uh, not really being let off the hook at any point um, for many, many years, actually, that we've been making the film. But actually, for playing the main part, we were... You know, it was amazing to get to know the real Sergei, who the story is based on, and put his true uh, story and memoir. And um, a real honor to be able to get to meet somebody whose life effectively you will extend um, into their legacy. And it was heartbreaking that he actually passed away before we started casting the film, the rest of the cast. And we sort of made a commitment to him that we would tell his story to the best of our ability. Um, Hi, Really, uh, sort of do, do justice to that story. And just finally, um, so we're here for the opening night now, less than the opening night movie, as everybody's talking about Jamie. Okay. Do you each have a favourite movie musical? Before, before seeing Jamie, of course, that might be your new one. Though. I'm a huge fan of Chicago. It's a little strange. Which is just such a phenomenal years. production, I think, really like. Well, you the, know, I wasn't really here last year. The marrying of like the stage and the and the film elements in, in that musical, I think, is, is really outstanding. And I think that uh, Bill Condon did a really really good job with the adaptation. Hmm. I think emotionally, my first film, choice would be also Chicago. Like Visually, La La Land. I really love the uh, the kind of thought through camera transitions and visual style. Sure.